Let's take a look at two Samsung TVs within the same price bracket, the Samsung S90C and the Samsung QN90C. The S90C is a quantum dot OLED TV and the QN90C is a mini LED TV. Now if you really need help on making a decision, I will have my buying advice right after the gaming segment, so make sure you stick around if you want to hear that. So let's start it off with the categories. The first one we're going to do is going to be technology. So first of all, the Samsung QN90C is a mini LED TV that is is controlled with multiple dimming zones and the S90C is a self-emissive display where each individual pixel is fully turned off when needed. Technology wise they are very different but in so many scenes they can look quite similar which brings us to the biggest aspect of the comparison and that is picture quality and we're going to be talking about picture quality specifically for watching movies and TV shows. I'll get to gaming a little bit later. If you're familiar with OLED versus LCD you you may know that the peak brightness of an LCD TV can be much higher than that of an OLED based TV. Now with QD OLED versus LCD TV, this is still kind of the case, but it's not always as noticeable due to the higher peak brightness of QD OLED. And sometimes the QN90C actually doesn't look as bright as the S90C depending on the scene. This is because the QN90C tries to reduce haloing or what you may know as blooming, and this will cause them to sacrifice brightness in some situations. Now compared to traditional LCD TVs, Samsung LCDs do appear to be closer to OLED TV with the dark performance than any other LCD TV on the market. This is both a good and a bad thing. It's a good thing because a lot of scenes, it's going to be tough to tell them apart. But it can also be a bad thing because you will see that Samsung will crush out some details to avoid showing the LCD downsides. And this is where the QN90C can struggle the most with scenes like stars in the night sky. I have always seen that this has such a hard time on the Samsung LCD TVs and really most LCD TVs struggle with this also to be fair. While it does do better than most, it's still an LCD TV with an ADS panel compared to an OLED TV. So when it comes down to the darkroom performance, it will definitely have its limitations, especially when we're talking about watching off angle, as QD OLED has some of the best viewing angles. So if you do have to watch at an angle or if you're worried about the other viewers in your household, the S90C definitely serves a better purpose with that in mind. So one of the strengths of the QN90C is definitely going to be high average picture level scenes. And a lot of times it does look brighter and better than the S90C. But I have to stress that it is only in these scenes because most of the time the S90C will be the better looking TV and sometimes it will seem like the brighter TV overall in average scenes. But it's just gonna be those very, very bright scenes where you can see the QN90C punch above the S90C. And that's where you have to be careful with the peak brightness numbers because yes, the QN90C will be the brighter TV, but what I noticed when they were side by side is that I didn't see a huge advantage for the QN90C in terms of brightness unless it was one of those brighter scenes where you can see the difference. The problem is I didn't run into these scenes all that much. And when you're looking at the average scene, the S90C does seem to be more impactful with HDR than the QN90C. With SDR and cable viewing in mind, talking about sports watching, I think that the QN90C still has a place there as it is going to look brighter than the S90C most of the time. Now moving on to gaming, both TVs feature 4K 120Hz capability on all four HDMI 2.1 ports and they both have the best gaming features like Samsung Game Motion Plus that Samsung has to offer. And I actually think that it feels better on the LCD TVs when you're using native 30 frames per second games with Game Motion Plus due to the response time differences. On the flip side, 60 frames per second games and fast paced competitive games fare much better on the QD OLED and they are such a treat to play on the S90C. So I would prefer that over the QN90C if you're talking about those types of games. With that said, when it comes down to picture quality, much of what I said involving movies and TVs can be carried over. However, the S90C definitely gets a bigger 
quality advantage here as the local dimming performance of the QN90C does appear to be limited in game mode like it tends to be with most LCD based TVs. So always keep that in mind when you're talking about the QN90C in gaming or really any LCD in gaming. As far as the brightness advantages go in game mode, I didn't see as many cases of the QN90C being brighter than the S90C. In fact, most of the time the S90C was the same or in some cases brighter with scenes that don't play nice with LCD TVs. With that said, I just want to remind you guys that I am mostly nitpicking about picture quality because you have to do it with a comparison like this because in most scenes it can be hard to tell the difference. All right now let's go into my buying advice but before I do I just want to remind you that I do have all of the links in the description below. These are affiliate links and if you're using them to buy your next TV that will help out the channel and I can't thank you guys enough for doing that so I appreciate your support. Ultimately I think the S90C is a better TV and a better value as QD OLED has proved to be the best of both worlds when it comes down to the technology. I think you're getting some of the plus sides from LCD TVs with QD OLED and you're still getting the strengths of OLED. And you can't really say that about any other TV technology on the market. Ultimately, I think that almost everyone should pick the S90C over the QN90C unless you find yourself in one of these categories. The first category being that you are just afraid of burn-in. You can't get that fear of burn-in out of your head and you just have it lingering in the back of your mind and you don't want to buy a burn-in warranty. So if you find yourself in this category, then the QN90C might be the TV for you. Now the second category would be that if you are in a very bright room. Now you can get away with the S90C in a bright room, but I would say if you are in a very bright room and you tend to watch a lot of sports or a lot of things in the daytime on cable TV, you'll probably have a better time with the QN90C in those situations. I personally would go with the QN90C over the S90C if it was for a living room and I'm watching a whole lot of football. And since we're talking about having a TV in the living room, if you're watching a lot of news or sports news and you have that logo always on the screen, then burn-in can actually be a concern for those types of people. If you watch a lot of that content, it's probably not going to fare very well for your TV in the long run. So for those people, I would say don't get an OLED based TV. Now category three also has to do with being in a big living room and that is going to be you just want a bigger size TV period. And the S90C is limited to 77 inches and I would say that personally if I had the option to get an 85 inch QN90C or QN90B over a 77 inch S90C I would definitely take the larger QN90C or QN90B because I do believe that a bigger TV will result in the better experience overall, especially if you need the size for your living room or in your entertainment space. I definitely wouldn't sacrifice size if you are so far away from the TV where you can't appreciate the quality difference of the newer TV that you're buying. Also factor in that the 77 inch OLED TVs tend to be around the same price as 85 inch LCD TVs when it comes down to the market price. And I have to say that is very enticing if you need a bigger TV. Now when it comes down to 55 inch and 65 inch prices with the S90C and the QN90C, I expect those to be about the same if not the exact same. So let me know, what do you guys think? Which TV are you going to get? The S90C or the QN90C? Why? Tell me in the comments, I would love to hear your answer. So we know that the S90C is one of the best OLED TVs on the market right now, but is it better than the LG G3? If you wanna see that, be sure to click the next video that appears right here to continue watching. Thank you.